clinical trials for Lagundi as a COVID-19 therapeutic or supplement have been approved by the Department of Science and Technology Philippine Council for Health Research and Development. DOST Secretary Fortunato de la Pina said that the University of the Philippines Manila Research Ethics Board has also provided the ethics clearance. The DOST started in April studying the effectiveness of certain herbal medicines against COVID-19. Researchers repurposed existing medications or supplements with antiviral properties such as Lagundi and Tawatawa. Tawatawa is known as a supplement for dengue, while Lagundi is widely used as a cough remedy. In an interview last month, Della Pina said you can create new formulations with Lagundi and Tawatawa. Even Tuffet has evidence in treating other diseases, we will be making a different formulation. The clinical trials will be conducted by the UP Philippine General Hospital. Meanwhile, the application for clearance from the Food and Drug Administration FDA for the conduct of the trials is still ongoing according to the agency. Lagundi has become one of the most established and widely used herbal drugs for cough in the country through the various measures taken to promote research and development of traditional medicine. The Lagundi-based medication was first licensed by PCHRD to three pharmaceutical companies in 1995 namely, Pasqual Laboratories, Inc., Grupo Medica, Inc. and Nature Farm, Inc. The technology has been fully commercialized since 1997 by Pasqual Laboratories, which released Lagundi in the market under the brand name Ascoff Lagundi. In accordance with the Technology Transfer Act of 2009, PCHRD then transferred the entitlement of the technology to UP Manila on behalf of the National Integrated Research Program on Medicinal Plants in 2012. Several other companies followed as licensees and released Lagundi under different brand names, such as Plumex, RightMed, Lagundex, and Astral, among others. Thank you.